The Dodge Challenger is the name of three different generations of automobiles, two of those being pony cars, produced by American automobile manufacturer Dodge. However, the first use of the Challenger name by Dodge was in 1959 for marketing a value version of the full-sized Coronet Silver Challenger. From model years 1970 to 1974, the first-generation Dodge Challenger pony car was built using the Chrysler E-Platform in hardtop and convertible body style sharing major components with the Plymouth Barracuda, too. The second generation, from model years 1978 to 1983, was a badge-engineered Mitsubishi Gallant Lambda slash Sapporo 3, a coupe version of an economical compact car. The third and current generation is a pony car that was introduced in early 2008 originally as a rival to the evolved fifth-generation Ford Mustang and the fifth-generation Chevrolet Camaro 4. In November 2021, Stellantis announced that 2023 model year would be the final model year for both the LD Dodge Charger and LA Dodge Challenger, as the company will focus its future plans on electric vehicles rather than fossil fuel powered vehicles, especially with tougher automotive emission standards of being rolled out and required by the Environmental Protection Agency for the 2023 model year. 5. First Generation, 1970 to 1974. First Generation, 1970 Challenger ARF slash T. Overview. Production, September 1969 to 1974. Model years 1970 to 1974. Assembly. Hamtramck, Michigan. Los Angeles, California. Designer Carl Cameron, 1968. Body and Chassis. Class Pony Car, Muscle Car, S. Body Style. Two-door hardtop. Two-door coupe. Two-door convertible. Layout front engine, rear wheel drive. Platformy body. Related Plymouth Barracuda. Powertrain. Engine. 198 CUN, 3.2L, slant 6i6. 225 CUN, 3.7L, slant 6i6. 318 CUN, 5.2 L, LAV8. 340 CUN, 5.6 L, LAV8. 360 CUN, 5.9 L, LAV8. 383 CUN, 6.3 L, BV8. 426 CUN, 7.0 L, Hemi V8. 440 CUN, 7.2 L, RBV8. Transmission. 3 or 4 speed manual. 3 speed torque flight automatic. Dimensions. Wheelbase 110 in. 2,790 mm. Length 191.3 in, 4,860 mm. 6. Width 76.1 in, 1,930 mm. Height 50.9 in, 1,290 mm. Introduced in the autumn of 1969 for the 1970 model year, 7, the Challenger was one of two Chrysler e-body cars, the other being the slightly smaller Plymouth Barracuda. 
positioned to compete against the Mercury Cougar and Pontiac Firebird in the upper end of the pony car market segment. 8. It was a rather late response to the Ford Mustang, which debuted in April 1964. 9. Even so, Chrysler intended the new Challenger as the most potent pony car ever. 10. And like the less expensive Barracuda, it was available in a staggering number of trim and option levels. And with virtually every engine in Chrysler's inventory. 11. The first usage of the Challenger name was for a trim package in 1959 called the Dodge Silver Challenger, which was a two-door coupe only. The Challenger's longer wheelbase, larger dimensions, and more luxurious interior were prompted by the launch of the 1967 Mercury Cougar, likewise, a bigger, more luxurious, and more expensive pony car aimed at affluent young American buyers. 12. The 110 in, 2,800 mm, wheelbase was 2 in, 51 mm, longer than the Barracudas, and the Dodge differed substantially in its sheet metal, much as the Cougar differed from the shorter wheelbase Mustang. Air conditioning and a rear window defogger were optional, 13, with 1971 being the sole exception. The front ends of both cars differed from each other in that the Challenger had four headlights and the Barracuda had only two, a trend replicated by offerings from Chrysler's rivals. The exterior design was penned by Carl Cameron who was also responsible for the exterior designs of the 1966 Dodge Charger. Cameron based the 1970 Challenger grille on an older sketch of a stillborn 1966 Charger prototype that was to have a turbine engine. The pony car segment was already declining by the time the Challenger arrived. Sales fell dramatically after 1970, and though sales rose for the 1973 model year with over 27,800 cars being sold, Challenger production ceased midway through the 1974 model year. A total of 165,437 first-generation Challengers were sold. A special model only available for the 1970 model year was the Challenger T-A, Trans AM, racing homologation car. In order to race in the Sports Car Club of America's Trans American Sedan Championship Trans AM, Dodge built a street version of its race car, just like Plymouth with its Plymouth Cuda AAR which it called the Dodge Challenger T-A, Trans AM. Although the race cars ran a distroked version of the 340, street versions took the 340 and added a trio of two-barrel carburetors atop an aluminum intake manifold, creating the 346 pack. Dodge rated the 346 pack at 290 horsepower, 216 kilowatts, only 15 horsepower, 11 kilowatts, more than the original 340 engine, which also had the same rating as the Camaro Z-28 and Ford Boss 302 Mustang. Air came in through a suitcase-sized air scoop molded into the pin-down, hinged matte black fiberglass hood. A low-restriction dual-outlet exhaust ran to the stock muffler location, then reverse direction to exit and chrome-tipped megaphone outlets in front of the rear wheels. Options included a torque flight automatic or pistol-grip Hurst-shifted four-speed transmission, 3.55 to 1 or 3.90 to 1 gear ratios, as well as manual or power steering. Front disc brakes were standard. 
The special rally suspension used heavy-duty parts and increased the rate of the rear springs. The T-A was one of the first U.S. muscle cars to fit different size tires at the front and rear, E60X15 Goodyear Polyglas in the front, and G60X15 on the rear axle. 20, 21, the modified chamber elevated the tail enough to clear the rear tires and its side exhaust outlets. Thick dual side stripes, bold ID graphics, a fiberglass ducktail rear spoiler, and a fiberglass front spoiler were also included. The interior was identical to other Challengers. Dodge contracted Ray Caldwell's Autodynamics in Marblehead, Massachusetts, to run the factory Trans AM team. Sam Posey drove the number 77 Sublime painted car that Caldwell's team built from a car taken off a local dealer's showroom floor. When the number 76 was completed mid season from a chassis provided by Dan Gurney's All American Racers, Posey alternated between the two. Both cars ran the final two races, with Posey in the number 77. Ronnie Bucknam drove the number 76 at Seattle, Washington, and Tony Adamowicz drove it at Riverside, California. The Challenger T-A's scored a few top three finishes, but lack of a development budget and the short-lived Keith Black built 303 CUN, 5.0L, engines led to Dodge, leaving the series at season's end. The street version suffered from severe understeer and fast corners, largely due to the smaller front tires. A total of 2,399 T-slashes were made. A 1971 model using the 340 engine with a four-barrel carburetor was planned and appeared in advertising, but was not produced since Dodge had withdrawn from the race series.